A few weeks ago, we selected Shelby and her fifth gen Honda Prelude as our winner for Throttle Dream Build 5, which means we've already transformed four cars, Throttle Dream Build 1, Throttle Dream Build 2, Throttle Dream Build 3, and Throttle Dream Build 4, all going to awesome Throttle VIP members. Now this fifth gen Prelude has seen better days. It is in pretty rough shape, but good thing we have a mountain of parts inside to transform it. Let's drive it in there and let's start the process. We have Shelby's fifth generation Prelude in the shop and we're all itching to get working on it, especially with this huge mountain of parts. So what do we have here, Mickey? Well, let's jump up on the front here. This is exciting. I love when we do this because we have the full build basically right here in front of us minus a few parts. We started up front with a Gretti front lip. This thing is pretty tall. The Gretti stuff actually is pretty aggressive. We also have a rear lip and side skirts that are gonna complement it really nicely. And we also have a really, really cool Mugen style rear wing that's all carbon. And this is from Sabon. It's gonna give this thing a really sleek and more modern look in my opinion. And we're also going to be upgrading the lights. So we've got kind of an OE style light. Now Shelby had upgraded her lights to a projector style previously with a daytime running light. We're gonna go more with an OE style. Very nice lighting upgrade in my opinion. We're gonna put some really bright bulbs in there for her so that uh, she gets the output that she needs for driving at night. We're also going to be upgrading to crystal lens turn signals. So right now she has a crystal lens turn signal on there with a orange bulb. We're gonna go ahead and put a clear bulb in here so that it really clears out the front end of the car. We also have a Sabon carbon fiber hood. You guys are used to us using Sabon around here. We really like the product. It fits well, it looks great. It's gonna be a really nice look. I also am gonna really enjoy the carbon fiber hood on this because the hood is very prolonged on this yeah. car. And the factory hood is also really heavy. So we have an action clutch and flywheel. We love using their products. They work really well in all the cars we use them on, which is really nice. So this one, the flywheel looks really nice. It already has a new pilot bushing in it, which is really cool. The clutch in this car currently is a little spongy. We're gonna be replacing her battery because it's dead. We literally have to jump this car every time we have to move it. So we're gonna be replacing it with a yellow top Optima battery. This engine does need a little bit of work. It's got some fluid leaks. It's got some old components on it. We just wanna go through and refresh everything and give her a really nice car to be able to enjoy and drive, which is really cool. So we have a brand new alternator. We have a spark plug and wire kit. All of the drive belts are gonna be replaced. We have a valve cover gasket set because the valve cover is currently leaking. We're gonna be doing a full timing belt service. So this is the water pump, new pulleys, everything in it to make it run and drive well. So we are gonna be pulling the engine out of this car. Moving into suspension. Suspension department. We've got a set of BCBR coilovers. I love these coilovers. They're honestly my favorite coilover and they just look so good out of the box and they're very nice to install and very easy to work with and adjust, which is Fully really adjustable, cool. which is cool. So Not only are we doing the coilover, We've got a bunch of arms and other components yep. here as well. So I found almost every single control arm that we could find for this car, which is really nice. We have fronts, we have rears, we have uppers, we have lowers, we have tie rods, we have traction rods in the back. Just all the suspension is gonna be brand new, which is really nice. Bushings and ball joints, everything. But we have a full Willwood big brake kit, which is pretty freaking sick for this car. We have a set of rear rotors and a set of Hawk pads going on all four corners, which is really nice. I'm excited to get those on and see how it actually it cleans up and yeah. I think it's gonna help the overall aesthetic quite a bit behind our new wheels. I think it'll be rad. Of course, we're gonna be doing a color change on this car. We have a roll of tiny bot vinyl. We're not gonna show you the color just yet. You guys are gonna have to wait for later in the video for that. <laughs> I haven't even seen it yet. I haven't seen it either. Oh yeah. It literally just okay. got here and we, we just, just put it in the power file so nobody really knows what the color is. I think Evan and Shelby do maybe. Yeah, 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 they do. But Cause he had to order it and she had know. to tell us what color she wanted her car <laughs> to be, so. So if you guys want some tiny bot vinyl for yourself, or you think about wrapping your car, pick up some tiny bot vinyl, use the code on the screen and you will get free shipping with your order, which is really nice. We also have a full Mission Moto cooling system going on in the car. We want to upgrade the radiator as well as uh, all the hoses and all the things that go along with it. So it'll be nice and reliable. Holy that, I don't know if that's the upper hose or the lower hose, but that is a huge radiator. I'm going to go on a limb and say this is the lower hose. So we have a race triple core X-Line radiator. So full aluminum end tanks, which are really nice. We have a fan shroud kit going with it and then a silicon hose kit. Moving into our wheel and tire package. These are a set of Nietzsche Targa wheels. Very nice looking.
second wheel. I've never seen kind of one colorized like this, which is really cool. Oh, it's like it was machined and then colored because you got kind of a two-tone look going on. And there's 17s, so it's yeah. going to be a good setup for this car. The brakes, the wheel wood brakes on the front are really going to fill out the wheel really well. And it allows us to put a really, really sticky set of Falcon Azenus RT 660s on all four corners. And for that, we've chosen two 1540s, a little bit of meat on there so that uh, the car rides nice and isn't uh, super uh, I don't know how you say it, like vibe. super bouncy yeah. and vibrating. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. I, I love a bigger sidewall when I do cars. So you know, we're going to hook Shelby up with a 40 series and hopefully she enjoys it as well as we do. We also have moving on to the interior. We have a set of uh, NRG quick release hub and then a steering wheel combo. The steering wheel is actually pretty cool. This is an MPI steering wheel and it actually has throttle branding on it, which is pretty cool. It's got a throttle horn button and it's a perforated leather with a gray stitch. So it's gonna tie everything together really nicely inside. A set of Gorilla lug nuts for the wheels and some stray control arms. And then this beautiful box right here. What are these, Mickey? Yeah, so those are Recaro seats. We'll show you guys more on those as we go to fit them. Really excited to have Recaro on board again for this project. And guys, as you can see, we have got an absolute ton of work to do here. So. There's nothing to it but to do it. We better get started. Let's get into it, baby. Submissions for Throttle Dream Build 6 are live right now. And if you want to have your chance at having your car transformed here by the Throttle team in San Diego, hit the link in the video description. No project is too big or too small for us to handle. And we cannot wait to see all the submissions. Good luck. Greenbelt 5 begins right now. We're gonna start by taking the hood off and then we're gonna pull the engine out. Let's get into it. Cooling system is draining. So while it's draining, we're gonna take the air intake and the battery out and then we'll start taking the rest of the cooling system, the radiator and the hoses out. Most of the things in the engine bay are sorted out and taken off because we're going to drop the whole subframe trans and engine out as one. I'm going to start taking the wheels off. We got to get our suspension off, exhaust. We're going to disconnect the steering rack and a few other things up underneath. Then the engine will be ready to come out. Well, when left. We are here to somewhat save the day. The EV guy and that dude in blue. Yeah, so we're gonna do the extremely hard thing of just taking the exhaust off. That wasn't that hard, that was actually pretty easy. That's pretty done, pretty quick. So our motor's pretty much ready to come out of the prelude. So I'm gonna drain the engine oil. We're gonna take the oil filter off. And we're going to drain the transmission fluid. And then we're gonna go one by one and crack all the subframe bolts just to make sure that they come off and they're loose. And then once that's done, we're gonna retighten the subframe, bring it down, put it on our little roller cart right there, take all the subframe bolts off. And then the chassis is gonna go straight up and the engine and subframe and transmission is gonna stay in place. Then we can start working on it, taking things apart and cleaning it. Trailer engine is out of the car and on a stand. We're gonna do a lot of cleaning before we do anything else. The transmission is absolutely disgusting. We're gonna clean out the subframe. I didn't realize that was a two-piece subframe. It's a very interesting design, but it's still dirty. So we're gonna clean literally everything and then we'll start working on this engine. Take the 
valve cover off. I'm gonna hand this off to Ricky. He's gonna do a full repaint, make it look brand new. While he's doing that, I'm gonna start doing some basic maintenance and refreshing some things on the engine. We have a new valve cover gasket going on because that is leaking. That seems to be the primary leak on this engine is kind of from the valve cover just covering everything. We're gonna be doing a full timing belt. So this does have a water pump included. We're gonna make sure all the cam seals and the crank seals are looking good and in good shape and just get this thing refreshed and ready to get back on the road. So the intake cam is off the tooth. So as you guys can see, we have a little mark there and a mark there and that's sitting nice and straight along the backing plate. This one is down and this one is up, which means the cam is actually a tooth rotated this way. So this car should run a lot smoother, make more power and be more efficient once we retime it. So I just got our action flywheel installed and we're gonna install our clutch next and so we can get this engine back in the car. Now, we got a very nice streetable clutch for this car. So it is not some crazy six puck, it's also a sprung puck. So this is gonna be not only a stronger clutch than factory, it's gonna be very engaging, very smooth to drive, which is really cool. It's perfect for a street car. So if you guys are looking for a good street clutch, head over to action clutch, pick yourself one up. Next up, we're gonna be installing the cooling system. We have a full cooling system by Mishimoto. So we have an X-Line aluminum end tank radiator here. This is a race radiator, very nice. It's not gonna crack like the factory plastic one will. It's gonna hold up a lot better over time. We have a set of silicon hoses, which is a very nice upgrade over the factory rubber. It won't age and crack and all that stuff. And of course, we have a new fan shroud to fit it all. We do have a thermostat. It's already in the engine. You guys saw us put that in when the engine was out of the car. Now let's get this cooling system installed. Now we're gonna install the valve cover, which Ricky's painted a wrinkle red. We're gonna throw a new valve cover gasket to get it on the car. Got some NGK spark plugs going in the prelude. the blue wires dude Dang. maybe we should have painted the valve cover blue it's gonna match our little blue dipstick we got a new dipstick by Grady. oh dude that's exactly the same blue huh. how cool is that neutron wires are on let's get our new carbon fiber coil cover and we'll drag this wiring harness over and wire our alternator up We're just about finished with the engine. The next step is gonna get our axles back in, but to do that, we have to put the rest of the suspension back together. So we're gonna start with these. These are BC racing coilovers. Let's open them up. We're 
we're gonna start by taking the old struts out first, which is easy since we already have these corners pretty much blown apart. This lower section we actually have to take off because we're going to put that on the new coil lever, but I'm going to take it off, I'm going to clean it, we're going to shoot it black so they look nice and they don't look like this anymore. And then we'll put them back in the car and start getting the uprights and all of our new control arms on. So let's go. Delicious. What? Yeah, let's go paint them. Clean them up, paint them. We're going to clean these and paint them. Delicious. Yeah. I would say it's delicious. Would you eat that? Hell yeah. See? What are you talking about? Quinn finished replacing the front suspension to include the front coilovers. Here I have some BC Racing coilovers that I'm going to be installing in the rear as well. We also have upper arms and tall arms and our stock replacement brakes with some high performing pads. So enough talking, let's get to it. As we're working, Oscar and the boys from SOS Customs have arrived and they're gonna actually just look over the car really quick, check out the paint, check for any major damages. And these guys do an awesome job of basically just going over the paint and making sure that when the vinyl wrap goes on, it looks fantastic. And you guys have seen previous dream builds that we've done. The wraps always turn out really good. This is a good model. The guys are gonna spend the rest of the afternoon probably just getting everything sorted out for us so that when it goes off to enhance for the wrap, it's gonna look awesome. Now that the BC colors and the arms are installed on the driver's side, I'm gonna start by replacing the rotors and the brake pads. That way this entire side is completely finished. Then we'll move over to the other side and we'll do the same thing. We have rotors, brake pads, arms, and coilovers have been replaced in the rear. Everything's complete back here. Now let's move on to the next thing. Next up on my list, we're gonna be installing a hybrid racing shifter and a set of cables and a few other bits around in the engine bay as well. So the Prelude already has a short shifter in it. I'm not 100% sure if it's the right shifter for this car, but there's a big problem with it. And that is the shift cable actually hits the center console and you pretty much can't use third or fifth gear, which is really unfortunate. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. We have a beautiful shift from Hybrid Racing. It's very smooth. We have a set of shift cables that are going along with it and we're going to top it off with a beautiful throttle shift knob. We also have a Hybrid Racing oil cap that we're going to be putting on the beautiful 8 Series engine in there because the factory one is a little bulky and the Hybrid Racing one is very nice and very beautiful. So let's get the old shifter out. Nice. Our shift cables are roughly in place. We're gonna bring the car down. I wanna get them on the transmission first and then we'll get our plate under here on and then we'll put our new shifter on. We'll be good. Oh, 
Oh yeah. How good, dude. They're so notch and they sound so cool. What a nice looking piece. It's like small and compact and it feels really good. Add an action clutch, dude. Oh yeah. This thing's gonna be a ripper. Time for some throttle shift knob action, baby. Shifter, amazing. Shift knob, amazing. Let's keep going. I just finished installing our hybrid racing shifter and I grabbed the wheel because we're gonna get this thing running again. We need to put our exhaust system on. We have a beautiful Skunk 2 exhaust here. They make a lot of really cool parts for Hondas and this one is no exception. I love the look of it. It has these really cool flanges, which I haven't seen on any Those exhaust yet. Buff. They look really nice, full gas kit. What is that? This is a quiet tube, so I tried to put it in and then I got I got barked at by Will because it's gonna make the exhaust a lot quieter, but essentially it just slides in the back of the muffler and then you have this little tiny exhaust and it makes it nice and quiet. So uh, let's get our stock catalytic converter back on this thing and then hang this beautiful skin to exhaust this. Skunk 2 exhaust is installed, fitment is great, the thing looks beautiful, we can't fire it up yet because we have a few things under the hood to finish up, so let's get to that. We've got our AM cold air intake up next, once this is on we can throw a battery in, but I need to do a little bit of trimming because this is a cold air, the filter actually sits in the fender well in front of the wheel, so this pipe needs to go through this hole. And then once that's done, we can bolt this down, and it'll lay nice and flat with the air filter hanging down here. It'll be good. So let's get to trimming. Our AAM intake is installed. We have a little bit of trimming to do. It turned out nice, and the intake is sitting nice and flush, and it's gonna draw nice, fresh, cool air from not inside of the hot engine bay, which is really nice. We're gonna move on and get our optimal battery in this thing. We have our AAM intake, our Optima battery, and our Skunk 2 exhaust system installed, and now it's time for some fluids. We're gonna start with some good Motul engine oil. We're gonna move into the coolant, add some power steering fluid, top off the gearbox, and then go for first start. Let's do it. Now we're gonna move on to some good old fashioned coolant, baby. Now it's time to put some transmission fluid in and get this thing fired up. I think it's time to start this thing. Sounds good, dude. Sounds way smooth. Yeah, it sounds new. I can hear the exhaust from here. Yeah. There. Car is running, sounds really good. Engine is running really smooth and it sounds really nice. So we're gonna let it run, get up to temp so we can finish bleeding the cooling system. Then we're gonna load this thing up and get it to the wrap job.
All right, well, as we get this car ready to go off to wrap, one final piece has showed up. So we're gonna toss on our Willwood big brake kit. Yes, this is a Willwood brake kit, but no, Willwood does not make a brake kit for the Prelude. Essentially, there's a company called Fast Brakes that actually adapts a Willwood brake kit from a Honda Civic to fit the Prelude by utilizing a centering ring basically on the front hubs. And what this does is it allows us to change the, the hub bore size to allow us to use this rotor hat and center it on the hub itself on the car. There ain't nothing to it but to do it. We're gonna get these tossed on. Brakes are all put together. Now it's time to bleed it, get the wheels on this thing and go for the drive onto the trailer, take it to the wrap shop. Let's go. We have our tiny bot vinyl here. We're here at Enhanced Auto with Michael and Jose. Ooh, wow. It's kind of like an alpine white, just with a little bit more curl to it. A lot of blue in it. There's a little curl. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, there's a lot of curl. Yeah, we're excited again. So this gloss Galaxy Dust blue to white tiny bot vinyl is gonna look really good on this, matched with some of the carbon fiber accents and some of the gloss black that we have. So I can't wait to see it. We're gonna leave it in their hands. It's in very capable hands and we'll be back to pick it up. quick while they're still wrapping the car this is a good time for us to do small tasks like throwing on the steering wheel so we have an NRG quick release hub and we have our awesome throttle perforated leather wrapped steering wheel so I'm gonna toss this on and try to stay out of their way We just pulled up to Enhanced Automotive. We are here to pick up the Prelude, and I can't wait to see it because I have no idea what color you guys chose for it. But let's go see it. I haven't been here. This is my first time. Ah, nice. Is that white pearl? Yeah. <laughs> Sick. From red to white. The car is great. Dude, this color is sick. You see that? Can you see it in the camera? Yeah, like, I don't know. Let's see. So, like, from different angles, it's like purple and, blue, and it turns green. Yeah. Oh, sick. That's a oh. big gray logo. I love it. Sick. Man, we got no headlights, no grill. We got nothing. What a big transformation, huh? Yeah. It's not even done yet. I want to give a huge shout out to Jose and Michael. They did an amazing job. The car looks amazing. Enhanced Automotive. Yeah, yeah so we're right here. I'm located in Southern California in San Diego. So if you guys ever need anything, you know, customization wise, wraps, vinyl, tint, yeah. uh, give us a call. We're going to put their Instagram right here. So check them out. All right, so I'm to get this thing back in the trailer so we can get it back to the shop. And we have a long night ahead of us. So let's get to it. A lot different white than I thought it was gonna be. Where'd he go? He's gone, dude. He just left with it. I think he wants He's to keep out. it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like an arch. Yeah. Yeah. Pearl in that. Wow. 
Wow, that's dope. Dang, that's wow. really cool. That looks really good. Yeah. I'm wow. like blown away by how much there is going on in the color. Yeah, like it's, it's not like, what it's like. It is, it is a lot like random. Is there the uh, name of this? This thing looks wild. I can't wait to get the rest of it back together. It's gonna be sick. Brother is back from the wrap shop. They did an excellent job, but we still have a few things to go on this car before it's finished. I'm not 100% down under the hood. One thing we noticed when we went to start it was that the old starter was starting to stick. So we hit it with the hammers that are working again, but we're not gonna leave. It starts way better. Sounds like a new car. All right, we got a wheel and tire package here. These are a Nietzsche Targa wheel. They're 17 by eight with an ET40. Square all the way around. It's gonna be a very interesting color combination for this car. I think it should look really nice. Of course, we got a wrap in a Falcon RT660. This is a 215-40-017. And we absolutely love the RT660s around here. So let's get this mean wheel and tire package on the print. Looks pretty good, dude. I don't know if we need to lower it. I guess we'll have to see what the front bumper looks like. Yeah. Because I don't front, know how maybe low, a hair. Yeah. How the, low that gray lip sits. Back looks nice. Yeah. I like how the back looks. Very nice. Wheels and tires are on, looks really good. I like the style of it. I do think we need to bring the front down a little bit just to kind of close that wheel gap and make it a little bit more symmetrical. So I think we're gonna get to that and do some other uh, minor suspension adjustments. Recaro SO5 seats for the Prelude. Best thing about them is they're reclinable, which is perfect for daily drivers. Let's get them in. But before we start doing the new Recaros in here, we gotta remove the old ones, remove the brackets, because we actually did not find brackets for this car. So I'm gonna custom make some for this thing. We have a 90% seat bracket done. I said 90 because there's still some work to do, but we're getting there. In, she works and she slides. Cheer! Shelby, you're ready to have a passenger because you're going to be driving. I think I have it done, not sure. I'm going to put it, I'm going to test it, and if it is, we'll bolt it in for the last time. Okay, we're straight. Dude, this is super smooth. Final test. We're done, baby! Seats are completed. I am done with this part. Time to move on. Let's go. So what we have here is some new Spec D tuning headlights that we're gonna put on this prelude. We had some old projector ones that are a little bit weathered. So we're going back for the classic black housing with OE scatter housing. And we have some H1 bulbs to put in here, some city lights, which are an awesome mod. And then we're gonna put it on the prelude. side done now it's time to do the same exact thing for the passenger side because that right there looks freaking good all 
right, we got both the passenger and driver side headlights in. The black housing with the kind of like crystal lens looks really, really good. Now, let's turn these things on and see how bright they are and how well they work. Now I'm gonna start working on the taillights. We're gonna clean up the ones that were already on the car. So I've got some 3000 grit. We're gonna wet soapy water, sand it, and then we're gonna polish it after. And then we'll have some nice fresh looking taillights to go on the bed. Now we're gonna throw on some Meguiar's compound, clean it up, make it look like glass. so cool from behind. What do you think, Ricky? What did you do? What you oh! Do? What does that mean? Bro, that completely did it in the back end. Taillights are finished, moving on. A fan made these for us a long time ago. I can't remember your name, but I think. Yeah. <laughs> yup. Boom. Uh, I don't know if we could take off. One the of red one. Though. I know the red does look good. Wait, Wait, you see these? Can we paint them black? You can paint them red. Or white. Or white. Look at these, dude. Someone made these for one of our Subaru projects. <laughs> oh, whoa. They're already primered. Dude, old logo, huh? I know. Wow. It's one of one, though. You can never get those again. No. Boom. These to red. Done. Looks pretty good, huh? Yeah, not bad. I like it. It's definitely different. One more time, maybe? Yeah, let's get them on the car. Throttle Dreamville 5 is officially finished. Everything is done. The wheels, tires, brakes, suspension, wrap, the hood, the lip, the body kit, the seats, the engine, everything's done. We just gotta go take it for a test drive, so let's hop in. All right, first drive in Throttle Dream Build 5. And this is also my first time driving a Prelude. First impressions, shifter feels amazing. The engine feels pretty good, the clutch feels great. Let's try the brakes out here. Oh, yeah, brakes work. They work. Yeah, Will Wood's doing their job for sure. The steering is actually really good. It feels firm. And it is very responsive, so that's good. Suspension feels good. The tires are trucking rocks like RT 660s always do down there doing their job. This thing feels good. It sounds good. It's not like super loud, but you know it's there. Even on D cell, you can hear it, which is cool. Test drive is approved. Everything feels good. We are less than 24 hours away from giving this car back to Shelby. So we're gonna give it one last final clean and then give it back to her. Just got word that Shelby is in the Uber. She's on the way here, so the last thing to do is to cover up the car with this trusty cover that we've had forever. Yeah. We have covered up, how many cars are this? Like 25. Oh, dude, at least. She's here. Big moment. What's up? Welcome, welcome. 
is the new throttle office, which actually hasn't been in too much content yet. This is our lobby area. Got some wheels on the on the wall here. Kind of our, our merch display. A little conference room, which is unique for us because we've never had space to actually have meetings and things like that. Here on the left is like our social media team. So this is like the editing room, photography, that kind of stuff. And then the right is a kitchen area. Bathroom if either of you guys need to use that. So let's move into, so this is the old shop. So this, sorry, we're in the new shop right now. This was the kitchen. We've got a little race quick display for all of our suits and stuff. And then this is throttle right here. So welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Yes, Thank you for submitting your video. Welcome oh, to Throttle. Oh. Don't cry. I hope you're yeah, happiness tears. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you, brother. Oh, man. <laughs> Feel real yet? Yeah. It's real. Yeah. You're wondering if she's going to cry. 100% you're going to love it. You want to see the shop? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's something under there you may, you may recognize, you may not also recognize, but. I knew there was going to be an S2K as well. I oh, so that's also that's <laughs> yeah. the next uh, throttle sweepstakes car is the Honda S2000. I might have to put my but luck in there again. I wanted to ask you guys just a couple questions. And you guys, you kind of work on this car together. That's my understanding. Yeah. First off, like why a prelude? Why'd you get a prelude? Why not? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, so one like tidbit that I don't know if we talked about is my first car was a Honda Prelude. I had a fourth gen Prelude VTEC. I literally learned so much on that car. First engine swap, first clutch job, everything. So like when this thing came in, it, even though it's the next generation, it's so, so much, so many similarities. And uh, I took it for a little drive and it's awesome. We were kind of looking for a project car and we had a couple in mind and we both really like S2000s. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> S2000s are a little bit yes. out of the price range for a project yeah. car, you know, because we have our main cars that we drive. And getting day. worse. Right. As yeah. days go by. And um, <laughs> we, I was looking just at Hondas in general because Hondas is good to learn on. Yeah, and, sure. Uh, I've always loved them. And one just come up that we couldn't. Couldn't pass like, up. It, yeah. it was a good deal. We didn't pay very much for it. And mm -hmm. it come with extra parts and it was just, it wasn't heavily modified, so yeah. we can kind of yeah. work on it and learn. That's always important. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the next question I had is, how did you find Throttle originally? What was the first video you saw, if that's what it was? Oh, I think... I know mine. But I think mine was with the Freak. Freak. Was the first ones, because uh, the EKs. Yeah. I love the yeah. EKs, yeah. yeah. Inside. Inside. <laughs> I think mine was, originally I watched TJ Hunt a long time ago. You guys were always kind of in the same area or like kind of like working with him and stuff like that. And I kind of slowly moved out of his content and moved into more like Hell's content. Kind mm. of thing. Cool. So it's been, I think, I think I've been subscribed for a couple of years. And then you guys watch Throttle together a lot. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. That's pretty rad. All right, Shelby and Josh, you guys ready to see your fifth gen prelude? Yeah. Yes. You guys ready? So ready. Here we go. It's the big moment. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's see it. Galaxy Dust from TinyBot. It does crazy stuff out in the sun. Like you can see it in here, it has like a real yeah. pearl in it. It's blue and purpley pink out in the sun. It's really cool. We've paired it with the Nietzsche Targa wheels, Falcon RT660 tires. Also, we put BC Racing coilovers on. So this thing is gonna handle awesome. You guys can go drive the canyons, cruise it around town. But we should probably show you what's under the hood. Quinn, can you pop the hood? So we did a lot of cleaning. This thing had quite a few fluid leaks to be corrected. Um, we gave it a good clean. We have an action clutch in here, which is a very nice streetable clutch. We have a full mission motor race cooling system, which will keep this thing running very nicely. It runs super smooth. Ricky painted the valve cover and it looks great. So there was a lot of debate over what color to do because these <laughs> yeah. are typically blue. Yeah. <laughs> but we thought the red would coincide a little better yeah. with the engine bed and everything. So. All right, Will, what do you got? You guys had some, some headlights on there. We Got you guys some black housing, kind of OE scatter housing um, with some H1 bulbs, new crystal clear fog lights and turn signals, and we got some black uh, side markers. Ricky, you got some stuff on the inside, too, right? Yes. Miss Kelly. If you look inside, we put a aftermarket steering wheel for you, so NRG release up, so the steering wheel actually comes out for you, so you can get in and out. You can see we have some Ricardo C Speed Cam and some custom brackets made by me here for you. <laughs> with love. With love. 
<laughs> took me a long time to get <laughs> And then we got a Hyper Racing uh, Short Shifter, which is amazing. So you please do me a favor and have a seat. Thank you, Shore. Sure. The steering wheel works, so you know. It's actually I a special. I usually do it one Yeah, right. I do it one handed. I usually need to put it back in and put it sideways and then. It clicks back on, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> check out the back of the wheel, too. That little thing on the back. Yeah. We got our logo in there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Here's the key for you. Both seats slide back and forth a lot. So you have, you guys have plenty of range to go. Uh, and then start her up. Do you feel that shift there, too? Not yet. Oh, that's, yeah, that's different. Yeah, yeah so I don't know it's <laughs> I, I remember when the car showed up, it didn't start that quickly, right? So yeah. now, like, instantly yeah. it starts right up. We did a great job with the engine. Shelby, you want to you wanna pop out for a second? We'll have Ricky rev it up for you so you can hear the new exhaust on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll rev it for you. That way you can actually hear it from out here. <laughs> I think we should go for a little drive. Yeah, that's what yeah. I think we should do. Cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay, where, where am I going? So. Swing just to the left of this guy. Like it seems counterintuitive, but go to the left and then kind of angle out. That's the hard part, right? Now, now you just keep it going. Ooh, I didn't <laughs> stall. I'll get it. If it's it's okay. <laughs> so go all the way to the right lane. Otherwise, we're getting on the freeway like you didn't want to. All the way to. I might want to yep. shift. It's a lot different than the ST. I would yeah. say it's the ST is a lot newer and it, it helps you a lot. Yes. With the shifts. Does it have the like the hill assist and all that? Yes. Like if you just kind of slowly yeah. let out the clutch, does it gas for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, so this is gonna be easier. a better one. Once you have this one mastered, any stick shift will be just fine. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that was first a second too. Nice. That was smooth. You're learning a lot good. quicker than other people that have uh, been trying it for the first. Hey, oh when you look at it, it's pretty different than it was before. What's your favorite part of the car so far? Oh, the seat brackets! That's a <laughs> the, <laughs> granted, I will say the seats are super comfortable. They were very comfortable, so <laughs> props to Ricky for that. So. Quinn's going to start up the old Supra. Get it, get it. Start the Viper right now without telling them. This thing is so loud. It's ridiculous. Ricky just got the keys. but also a little kind of like just memory for myself as well. I got the throttle. Oh, wow. Yeah. So sick. Is that the first one ever? <laughs> that is the first tattoo to my <laughs> knowledge. Cool. Wow. So cool. And it's the right logo it too. It has like a second skin on it. Oh, so okay. yeah. So I cool. promise it looks better. <laughs> oh, so there is a, you, you like peel yeah. it off from last night, so. Yeah. Holy cow. I got, you know I got it funny? last night. Because I saw on your story that you yeah. were at a tattoo shop. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of weird. Like, I mean, yeah. you know, I guess maybe that's some, I, I don't have, Jared I only have one tattoo. He, he goes everywhere he travels, he gets a tattoo. Oh, wow. I think that you would get that. That's so cool. That's kind of been like my plan. Like just my, I want to have a full sleeve of nothing but like just memories. And like that's cool. that's just sick. little yeah. things that like remind me of like my loved ones and stuff yeah. like that. So well, we're on yeah. What was better than that's getting so the logo? Cool. <laughs> it's got some gear for them. We're just hooking you guys up with some of the latest stuff. Some stuff that's not even out yet, like this hoodie I'm wearing. A bunch of stuff for you guys to take back home. Sorry if you're hey. in the car or wherever. Here you go. <laughs> Uh, and, tacos. Tacos. and tacos. You gotta take back 30 tacos because we ordered way too much. This is a lot. That 
about does it for Throttle Dream Build 5. Congratulations once again. I hope you guys enjoy the prelude down in Florida. So if you guys are in the Florida Jacksonville area, go find them, go see them. I'm sure they'd love to show you guys the car. And just remember that Throttle Dream Build 6 is live right now. So if you wanna be our next winner, check out the link in the video description, join Throttle VIP and submit your car because you never know if you're going to be selected. And one other thing I wanted to add that is if you've submitted your car for previous Dream Builds, please do it again every single time. That way you are in the running. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave us a big thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.